Today I'm going to show you how to draw a car in two point perspective. The first thing that you need to do is put in a horizon line where the land would meet the sky. So you take a ruler and you just draw a line wherever you want. Usually you want to make the land bigger than the sky because you want space for your car to go and you won't have a floating car usually. So you just draw a line like that, and then you need to put two vanishing points on it. Vanishing points are where things like a road would vanish to, where you can't see them anymore. So you can put them along the line, but try not to put them two together, like scrunched up like that, or else your car will turn out weird and be very, very small, like a clown car. Tall and skinny. So I'm going to label this one one and this one two, just for the video. Now, make a line from vanishing point 1, any angle you want, but the more you do it like this, and eventually when it's even with the horizon line, you'll only see the side. So I'll put it like there, somewhere in the middle, so you can see some of the top and some of the side. And make sure that your lines are straight, or else your car will turn out weird. So there, there's my line. And then I do the same with 2, only this one will go right to the edge of your line from vanishing point one. So, eventually it will look something along the lines of this. Where the two lines meet, you want to draw a straight line upward. Not completely, but as tall as you want your car to be. I'm going to do it that tall. So then you do the same from here, this point. And I'll call this one 3, and this one 4. So you can do 3 to 1 and 3 to 2. Like this, and... Like that. So there you start seeing a three-dimensional wall. Now, from here, you draw a line in the middle, and I'll label this 5. And put that to 1 and 2. This is how high your wheels are going to be. So there you have your basic frame for your car. This is your roof, this is your wheels. So you draw on your wheels. Like that. And put a line in between them. This will be the floor of your car. Draw a line from your left wheel to there. That will be the front or back of your car. Then you do a short line there, which will be the front or back, or back of your car too. So then you take this line, and you draw a straight line upward from the corner, or the edge, like that. And you can start seeing the floor of your car starting to take shape. Now, you take this point here, which I will label 6, and put 6 to 2, this one right here. Like that. And then you draw a line upward where you want the front or back of your car to stop. I'll do it right there. And there you can start seeing the car taking shape. So now you need to take this line and put it to one, the edge of this line right here. So, like this. And then the edge of this line and put it to 2. Like that. So then you see this box here. Now, this car is going to turn out like a box. Just to show you how to draw. And then you can make it more fancy later. So then you draw a roof line, 
like this to this line right here, which is the top of your car, and one on the other side, like that. So now you can start seeing your car taking shape. Then, you want to draw a line from this point here to 2. And then you do the same with this point here. And this point here. So now, you see this line going to here, to here, and to there. Now what you can do is if you take the end of this line where it touches the upper part of the body facing the sky, and you put a line connecting this to the line coming from this here, and you bring it up, connecting the two. So then you can start seeing the roof of your car. And then you connect to this point here, just straight to one. Like that. So then you can see the box roof for your car. And there is your generic car shape. So you might want to trace this. So you take another sheet of paper, put it on top, and only trace the part of the car. I'm going to do that. So you want to put in your horizon line, though, so you know where the basis is. So if you want to draw, like, a road or something else, you can have it vanish. And then you want to draw in your car. So a wheel is there, there, and you're just tracing. And you can do this with a ruler if you want. And I'm just showing you what your car will kind of look like when you're done. And you can see it's really starting to take shape. There is your car. So you can draw a line down here for the doors, put in some headlights, stuff like that. Maybe even put something in the back, like a crate or some cabbage or something like that, depending on what kind of car you used. You can put in an antenna and stuff like that. And you can decorate it, make it curved there, kind of like that, and make it just look better. That is how to draw a car in perspective.